It is time for the WWE Championship match, guys. Welcome back to Fog Wrestling, the return of the Edge season mode here on WWE SmackDown versus Raw. It's been a long time. The time is finally here. Or maybe not, it's Cena. Last week, the showstopper got his big chance and got stopped. So now it's time for whoever the hell makes the decisions around here to recognize that I'm the only superstar who deserves a title shot at WrestleMania. Well, here comes Steph McMahon with Shawn Michaels. Exercising it later this month at WrestleMania. Come on, man. After getting your ass beat last week, you don't believe that Stephanie is stupid enough to put you in the main event at WrestleMania. Excuse me? I'll give you a number one contender match right here tonight against the WWE Champion. Wait a minute. And Shawn Michaels will be the guest referee. If you win, Cena, you're the number one contender. But if you lose, Shawn Michaels goes to WrestleMania for a rematch. A number one contender match tonight. Well, what the? I thought Backlash was the next pay per view. It turns out we're starting the year at the WrestleMania. What? Why? Who makes these decisions? Cena has got a number one contender match tonight against us. Uh, what? On what planet does that make sense? We're the champion, yet Cena is in a number one contender match against us, and if he wins, he's the ch he's number one contender, but if he loses, Shawn Michaels is. I mean, why not just have Shawn Michaels versus Cena with Edge as the special referee? That makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, unreal. We've got a shitload of emails here that I need to check. Uh, fuck, what, what did we read? So, Michaels just said he's going to call it right down the middle. Interesting. Tony Wilson now sent me, Hi, bet you weren't expecting to hear from me like this. Definitely not. But things have changed recently and I'm confused about a lot of stuff and I'm not sure I made the right decision a few weeks ago. John has changed since he lost his title opportunity. He's not the same guy I fell for and now I'm wondering which one is the real John Cena. Anyway, I hope you write back. I hope we can catch up a little. Maybe go and get a cup of coffee or something like that. And Chloe and I miss you well, you know what I mean? Your dog looks like shit, so <laughs> certainly don't miss that dog. And uh, nah, we, we ain't getting their coffee. We're just, uh, there's a one way ticket to WrestleMania, and Edge is the only name that's being uh, booked on it, alright? Edge is the only name printed on that ticket. Tori, you can, you can sit at home, I guess, with your dog Chloe and drink as much coffee as you want, but Edge is the guy <laughs> that's going to WrestleMania. But uh, before we do that, we need to find out who will be faced at WrestleMania. Will it be Cena? Will it be HBK? HBK says he's calling this one right down the middle. So it all depends on us. Beat Cena, we face HBK. Lose to Cena, we face Cena. So it, uh, I don't know, there's a, lot, there's a lot at stake here. But not really for us. Win, lose or draw, we're going to WrestleMania. Win, lose or draw, we will be there. And here comes Michaels. Stephanie McMahon is hoping for. 
Cena wins this non-title match. He gets a WWE title match at WrestleMania. But if he loses, the special referee in this very match, Shawn Michaels, goes on to the big day. I don't know how Cena thinks he's going to get out of this one, JR. HBK says he's going to call this right down the middle, but Cena can't take that risk. He's got to do whatever he can to make sure that this match isn't decided by the referee. Well, despite whatever the true intention of Shawn Michaels may be doing, I have to agree with you that it would certainly be in Shawn Cena's best interest to pick up a decisive win early here tonight. Well, Cena getting booed at the building. What's new? Pretty much sums up 2006 and 2005, so... Here we come, the champ. Yeah, what, 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 it'll be weird because if we beat Cena the night, then we've already beat Cena and HBK one on one. Maybe we should be facing any of them at Mania. Maybe we deserve a new challenge at WrestleMania. That might be the uh, the right thing. That's the smart thing for business. As Stephanie McMahon always goes on about what's right for business. I think what's right is we actually get someone that we haven't beaten. Well, let's see then, Edge, Cena, HBK, the referee. We'll be interested to see how this one goes. Cena then, lifting him up. Nails the backbreaker. Seen his leg into space cell. Big back body drop there by Cena. But we don't we don't sell it, we're back on our feet. Edge goes for a boot, Cena misses it. Cena with another strike. Cena now with his shoulder. Blocks the edge. But we're again we're back. Here we go, Edge now, countered by Cena, Edge overpowers Cena, and Cena goes straight to the side headlock. Cena now go, gets Edge, goes behind him, side headlock for Cena, oh, I'm dead AT. And now Cena going for the leg, Edge will try to kick away. And Edge, here we go. Here we go, it's Edge back on his feet, Edge beginning to gain momentum here, he goes with Edge dramatic. Brings Cena down, goes to the cover. HBK, as a... What the fuck was that? <laughs> what? Was that a fast count for Shawn Michaels or... What the hell, what happened there? Cena's been defeated thanks to the Edge dramatic, really? Really? <laughs> That's insane. Cena's had that off. Oh my god, and Michael's just gets planted with a chair. Cena just flattened the heartbreak kid with that steel chair. That's not what I saw, King. I saw Shawn Michaels take a proverbial bullet for the WWE champion. Cena's best. Those blood pissing out of Michaels. And well, there you go. Michael's taking a bullet. Will that bullet prevent him then from competing at Mania? Who knows? It was some shot. Cena obviously no happy with the decision. Did he think there was a fast count? I thought maybe. Just maybe. There was a fast count, but regardless. HBK in what the fuck? HBK's injured. Ironically, the man responsible for injuring Michaels last night might be the same man who takes a spot at WrestleMania. 
I don't want to reward John Cena, but he's only Raw superstar, not currently scheduled for a WrestleMania match. Who's a legitimate contender for the title? Oh my God! Right. This is not the first time Stephanie's name seen a number contender, but Cena vows that this time will be different from the last. Cena said, "Quote: It's a whole new ball game. I ain't going to be distracted by trailer trash like Tory Wilson." And I ain't going to be the friendly rapper who sells from foam fingers to inbred hicks. I'm going to straight out... I'm coming straight out of the streets. You can ask HBK all about that because he got a taste of it last week. So Cena, officially, 100%, if there was any doubt, he's just turned heel. Chavo, what, what the fuck? What's up, man? It's Chavo Guerrero. Looks like the two of us have a match tonight, Holmes. I know the title's not on the line, but you still better be ready. Because if I beat you tonight, maybe I'll be the number one contender. Speaking of the title, looks like you're going to have your hands full with John Cena at WrestleMania. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that guy. He's gone totally loco lately. If I were you, I'd watch my back. Adios. <laughs> well, Chavo, you don't need to worry. You, you ain't beating us, that's for sure. You're definitely not beating us. But uh, yeah, that's mad. So, um, I guess we'll be back next time, guys, next episode to take on, ooh, Chavo, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably beat Chavo, no problem, but WrestleMania must, mustn't be that far away, but I guess the, the challenger will be Cena, it'll be us versus Cena, HBK now is finally at the equation, and it's going to come down to Edge, the Raider All Superstar versus Big Match John for the WWE Championship. Anyway, guys, that's it for this episode, episode 6. Tune in to the next episode to see us take on Chavo Guerrero. I'm sure that'll be an easy night work for us. Or at least, well, you never know. If, if Cena's on the loose, if he's got a steel chair, if there's going to be steel chairs flying about at people's heads, then anything could happen. But anyway, make sure you check that out. I've been Fog for Wrestling. Till next time, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below. All that good stuff. And peace.